Hi everyone, AWS Wolf adds support for request header insertion. This means that with allow count or capture actions in your AWS Wolf rules, you can now configure your AWS Wolf to insert custom HTTP headers into the web request. So when your AWS Wolf forwards the web request, to your protected resource or application, the request will contain the entire original request headers plus the custom request headers that you have configured your AWS WAF to insert. With this feature, you only add to the request headers. You cannot modify or replace any part of the original request headers. Use cases for AWS WAF custom request header insertion include signaling a downstream application to process the request differently based on the inserted headers, and flagging the request for analysis. In this session, I will show you how you can leverage this request header insertion feature from AWS WAF to help validate that requests made to your application were evaluated by AWS WOLF. And your application can make use of this feature to grant special privilege access only for requests that contain the custom header values that you specify. Now, let's see this in action. First, Let's take a look at my AWS WAF Web ACL rules. My default Web ACL action is to block all requests that don't match any rules. For the purpose of this demonstration, I have a rule here named Demo Rule 1. In this rule, I am allowing all requests with URI path matching a forward slash index string. And at the same time, I have configured my AWS WAF to insert a custom request header to this allow action. I have specified my header key name as demo and its header value as only from WAF. It is to be noted that AWS WAF will prefix your custom header names with x-amzn-wolf- Now, for demonstration purpose, I have created a custom application that resides behind an application load balancer. And my AWS WAF is enabled and tightly integrated with this application load balancer that resides in North Virginia region. My AWS WAF also resides in the same North Virginia region. Now, let's access my custom application. Immediately, you can see that this request is allowed by my AWS WAF, and my application is allowing this web request through to the members area because it contains a custom header named x hyphen amzn hyphen wolf hyphen demo and the value only from wolf. For convenience, my application is showing you the entire original request headers plus the custom header in the page. Now, imagine that this members area is a privileged access only for members. Let's see what happens when this custom header value is not present in the web request. 
So I'm going back to my AWS WAF rule to edit it. And this time, I'm going to remove this custom header and save the rule. Now, when I hit refresh and access my custom application again, you will see that this time, my application has returned a non-privileged access which is the public area because the custom header value is not present. And that's it. I have demonstrated to you how you can leverage this request header insertion feature from AWS WAF to help validate that requests made to your application were evaluated by AWS WAF and configure your application to process the request differently based on the presence of the header. Thank you for your time and make sure to consult the AWS WAF documentation for more information on custom request header insertion.